What's going on guys? I hope all are doing great. So title of this video, y'all are probably thinking what I quit. Um, well, you can see I'm still posting YouTube, so I have not quit that. Um, that's what y'all were thinking for I was quitting. No, YouTube has only just begun. Um, this is something I look forward to doing. It's something I enjoy doing. Uh, sitting here making videos and talking to you guys. It's something I enjoy doing, finding your passion. So, yes, title of the video, I quit. Um, I left the sheriff's office. I quit working in law enforcement. I know a bunch of you guys that follow or subscribe to me are law enforcement. Um, <laughs> don't know how y'all feel about it, but... Yeah, I am a civilian now. No, I'm, I'm back. Uh, Martin Lawrence on the new Bad Boys. I'm a civilian now. That's what I am, guys. I am no longer a cop. Um, I've told y'all about my business and stuff, past videos, what I was doing, and a couple of times I've mentioned I'm wanting to do YouTube full time. No, I do not make a lot of money with YouTube. I don't make money. I, I make enough money for YouTube to basically buy my gas for the month that's uh, not even uh my truck my truck is <laughs> talk about that in just a little bit about my updates so yeah guys i quit working in law enforcement i quit the sheriff's office i quit for numerous reasons um <laughs> there's still guys that watch these videos that are at the sheriff's office this day um so i mean i don't have nothing to owe them but I'm not gonna sit and bad mouth the sheriff's office. Um, just a couple reasons why I quit. Things at the sheriff's office made me quit. Uh, yes, I could go to another agency if I want to, and I have a year. Decided to get back into law enforcement. I have that option for some reason. If I still wanna become a cop, because we all know, if any of you cops out here was cops retired, quit, whatever, you know you get that itch and you wanna come back. Um, I've not got the itch yet. I do miss the adrenaline rush and the excitement I miss the brotherhood I shared with my uh, partners. I miss all that, it's bittersweet, but I had to do what's best for me. Um, so I'm not gonna, I can't bad mouth the sheriff's office. Um, there's a lot of issues there, um, but I don't hate anybody there. Um, I do not wish nothing bad on anybody there. I wish nothing but the best for the sheriff's office and every employee there moving forward. But this is something I had to do for me um, it has been bittersweet. I have burnt some bridges and some friendships, relationships with people I worked with. Um, hate to see it happen, but guys, do what you want to do. Do not let anybody tell you what you can't do. Do not let anybody make fun of you for believing in a dream you have or a goal or career. If you want to make a lot of money, if you want to be a full-time YouTuber, whatever, don't listen to other people because, damn it, I have heard so much bullshit um, with stuff. And it's like a lot of people tell you, I wish nothing but the best for you. They don't mean that. Y'all know how it is. Um, a lot of people told me that. A lot of people didn't mean it. So, um, so yeah, I quit for me. Um, and one thing I was trying to do a couple of years ago, uh, was get into real estate, especially now real estate is booming in business right now. Yes, there could be a crash in the market, but that is a risk I'm willing to take. So a couple of years ago, I was wanting to do real estate school, my pre-licensing tests and exam and all that stuff. And I live here in North Carolina and North Carolina is the hardest real estate exam in the U S for some reason. I thought other people in different states, North Carolina for some reason is the hardest. So we'll see how that goes. So guys, I quit. I am going with my business now that I've told you in other videos. Um, I am pursuing YouTube. I am going to be making a crap ton of videos here on YouTube. I'm actually on my way home now from the gym. So I look a little sweaty and stuff. Um, I'm on my way home from the gym now to film and start editing um, this last week. My last day was the 28th of September at the Sheriff's Office. So I've had a week off from today. Today's Tuesday while I'm filming this. I've had a week off and it's been nothing but phone calls, getting stuff together, getting business up together, school stuff, everything else. But yeah, guys, if you, 
if you have something you want to do, go for it. If someone tells you you're not going to make it or you're not going to pursue that, you don't have what it takes, you don't have the mindset, you're not self-motivated, take that as motivation. Guys, I love negativity in my life. I love it and I strive for that shit. Um, it's like some friends and family will tell you they know you got what it takes, whatever, this and that, but the other people that laugh at you, find talk behind your back, stuff like that, and always talking shit. I love that, and I turn that negativity from other people into motivation. Um, now, I don't want to say motivation is everything, because you know how motivation is. There's sometimes you're very motivated to go work out. You're very motivated to go make money. You're very motivated if your car sells house mark, whatever. You're very motivated to do something. But that motivation can eventually wear off. So take that motivation and make it a mindset. So that's what I'm doing. Um, no longer police anymore. So that is gone. Will that ever change? Probably not. I think I am done with law enforcement. I did a little over four years total with the world everything going on the money in law enforcement you guys know there's no money in law enforcement at all um sheriff's man there's a lot of a lot of stuff um so yeah law enforcement is done probably for good so what am i doing besides business and real estate school i will become a certified firearms instructor the 16th this month uh, I want to do it through the sheriff's office, but it's a lot of schooling with general instructor school, wait list, and a lot of policy bullshit. So I'm on my own way, and I'm coming an instructor my way. So I'll be certified and be doing a bunch of classes and stuff. I'm still going to be learning as I go from other instructors and some friends in this industry that are very good instructors, and I'm still going to take their classes. So, yeah, I just got a little bit of everything I'm doing with real estate, uh, my business, my instructor stuff. And then this right here. This is what I enjoy. So, yeah, guys, it's it's different. A week not being law enforcement anymore. It feels different, but it's a weight off my shoulder. Um, instead, you cops that are watching this now know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and know it's a lot of people keep saying you're a quitter. You're a quitter. You're scared of the line of work, whatever. That's the negativity talking about before. Um, so, yeah, no longer a cop. So, guys, I'm not sitting here telling you if you have, like, a massive dream or goal to, like, quit everything and do it. Um, obviously, not everybody is in the same financial status as some people. No, I'm not rich, which if y'all are thinking. Um, a lot of people have said from my um, some of my videos, how do I have this, what do I do for a living, this and that. I... Uh, just know your financial boundaries, but if you do have that set dream of a set career that you want to do, whether it be filming YouTube, I know a lot of people that have quit everything to film YouTube, and they've actually been very successful doing it, and they quit everything. So I took my leap of faith and quit the sheriff's office where I could focus on my business, myself, and my future. Um, and a lot of you know I've been sick while I built my stomach. So this is better on my health. And I am happy. But guys, if you have that dream, don't let anybody or anything hold you back. Just make sure you're financially set before you do make that decision say if you quit a job. Um, that's what I did. I don't have all of my guns in that video anymore. Um, I got rid of just a couple because um, I do review this and that. So... Sometimes to buy a new gun, you can't just go drop like a Scar 20. You can't just go drop $4,500 on a new gun. Just shits and giggles. I mean, sometimes you do have to sacrifice something. Um, so I'll do an updated video. Then of the year, because there's some stuff gone, and there's some new stuff that is not in that video. So there'll be a new video at the end of the year. So, guys, I'm excited. I just wanted to bring y'all what I'm doing. And this journey is the people that do watch these videos and stuff this is like a vlog i guess you would say but i'm not naming it a vlog um all you guys that are watching and commenting and everything else that is motivation to me and you don't understand how much i appreciate each and every one of you 
and it keeps wanting me to take a step forward each and every day. Guys, always wake up and know, and what can you do to be better than you were yesterday? That's what I've been doing the last couple months now. What can I do today that is better than yesterday? How can I keep taking a step forward each and every day? That's the thing is, guys, if you have goals, you gotta go get it. You can't just wait around and be lazy, sit on the couch for a couple days, couple weeks, whatever, because in those weeks turn into months, years, so on, and then you're old and you cannot do your dreams. It's too late. So guys, quick little rant of what's coming. Um, like I said, y'all be updated. My videos are up be very frequent because I'm trying to do two videos a week now since I have more time. Um, so my school is coming up here soon, but I got about a month and a half until school starts. So I'm going to be filming, shooting more gear. And I got a cool video coming here soon. Um, I might be filming that tomorrow if I have time. Tomorrow's my birthday. Um, so I'm trying to do a cool little video of a new little series I got coming up to on YouTube, um, but we'll see because one of the videos was about my truck I got. My truck will be in the shop for a little bit. So I gotta go to the Chevrolet dealership tomorrow on my birthday, and they're probably gonna keep my truck for a month to two months till it's fixed because the lifter or something's bad on it and only one, it's not even drivable. So yeah, that's my birthday tomorrow. But guys, thanks for hanging in there with me. I appreciate each and every one of you again. Um, if you want to help support this channel, it's in a little bit more, but you don't have to. I'll leave a link to my Patreon account and the link down below. And I'll also throw my Instagram down there. Um, be more active on Instagram again so that I actually have time to breathe and actually live life a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's everything. But, guys, I appreciate it. And, as always, y'all have a good one.